Um, all right, guys and girls, uh, the early gentleman, Mr. Jernigam here. Um, I'm going to do a video today talking about a few things. Some of you guys and girls and uh, ladies and gentlemen probably live at home with your family. And some of you probably don't or do. Sometimes family get underneath your feet. Other times they don't, but we all have a family and some of us probably don't. Some of us wish we had a family that we there we could see again, but uh, you know, um, just in default of thinking stuff, you can see the lights shining in my face from the phone. I just get annoyed, even though you love your family to death and they love you as well. Sometimes you get mixed emotions from them. But when you piss off your family and they piss you off, you clash. And what I would never understand in my life, some of you guys and girls probably do, ladies and gentlemen do, your family attack you. And then they start headbutting you for no reason. Just because you don't understand something or they don't understand something. But being under their roof, is that what you expect? No one deserves to be treated like a punching bag and punched around and hit. For no reason at all. Just because they can't understand something or, you know, they said something they shouldn't have said. In a way, in the world, there's a lot of confused people. They do things and people, other people get annoyed. They do things on purpose or they just do it to be noticed or they just don't think what they're doing. You know, um, perhaps some people do that because they don't know what they're doing. People get, we all get angry and triggered. But why do people deserve to get headbutted, punched, kicked, you know, beaten, but just because they're different and not everybody else understands them? Um, uh, some people don't like a, a, a abusive relationships. Some people don't like them at all. When a abusive relationship happens, some people move out of the house or home or flat and get away and go somewhere else to the friends or neighbours' house or people that they know. And some people keep away from the family because they don't want to know them. Um, you know, I'm just doing this video because um, there's a lot of us in the world that are getting attacked by our own family and none of us deserve it. And uh, it will keep happening. And happening and happening. You know, some family members say, get your own place. Stand in your own two feet. Some of us do, some of us don't. And some of us probably still live at, their, live at our homes at the 30, the 30 or 35 and then they get their own place then. And, and uh, you know, sometimes there's a lot of tensions with family and friends and people that you know. Um, you try and please them. There's nothing you can do and nothing, and they still get angry with you. I'm doing this video because my relationship with my family is not is not the best as it should be. They don't understand me, and uh, you know they don't really see me as often as they should do. But some people probably don't care about that. Some people are probably not bothered with the family seeing them. They just say this is the way it is. Sometimes you, your own family have got their family to look after and look after you, even though they try to make time and they can't. Um, I'm just thinking. I keep clicking the pen as well. To see. Uh, I just I'm just in a really pissed off mood of things and upset, annoyed, angry. They say, the family say they're doing the best for you. I mean, how is that doing the best for somebody when you headbutt them? That's not helping somebody. That's just making the person more angry next to you. And some of you guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, will probably say that's true. It is. Sometimes, they want, sometimes people want you to headbutt them to get ret retaliation. And... Uh, get on your nerves, get make you get angry. Because sometimes if you're in these situations, if they have if they keep headbutting you twice, it's like they want you to hit them back. 
then if you hit them back, then that basically means um, some people say they've won, but they haven't. They want you to get into trouble. Say, say if you're a landlord, yeah, and your landlord pisses you off and you don't like your landlord, and then he headbutts you and you hit him back, he, get, he can get your friend out of the property. That's been probably known before that people have done that, and uh, get new tenants in and the same happens again. Unfortunately, uh, it's not right, but some people don't care, do they? Uh, there's a lot of selfish people in the world that, I'm not saying everyone's selfish, there's people that do care. But then people are hard to find in the world, um, or they could be easier to find, it depends where you look, really. Um, I'm just in very deep thought with everything, and things could get better for me. Um each time when people have a fallout with the family or members, you don't want to speak to them. You don't want to spend time with them. That's how I feel. Sometimes if you live in the same roof over your family member's head, uh, house over your family, member, family member's homes, you still have the same tension. You know, some people don't retaliate for a reason. They want somewhere to live. Sometimes if you do hit your landlord or someone that you rent the house by, they throw you out. That's, that's what they want. Sometimes they want an excuse for you to do something wrong and throw you out. Has been known in the world. So, Or if you're not paying enough money to the landlord, they want people with more money. It's all about money these days. If they're not making enough and getting enough clients and they want more money and then they throw you out and put somebody else in with money we all struggle in this uh, crazy world could it get any crazier probably could do that's just the way the world can go and be with people at times and I'm not trying to upset anyone I'm just trying to explain it how it is some people may understand me some people may not and some people may say why am I saying these things well to put my point across I mean, I'm okay, it's just, you think to yourself, why on earth do you bother with family when they don't do it to you? Why on earth do family want to push you away from them and you actually try and actually uh, want to spend time with them? Sometimes they probably don't care if you spend time with them. Do they want people to just fall away from them or... There's probably a lot of people that ask that question in the world. Why did they disown me? Why did they don't want to know me? Why didn't they want to talk to me, family? And, you know, why did they turn their back on me? And then they think to themselves, when they get older, it doesn't matter. You know, they've got their own life. They've got your life. And I just, I'm just really annoyed. I'm sorry, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I really am. I'm, I'm sorry that I'm feeling the way I'm feeling. I really am. I'm, 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 I don't want to be boring anybody about this, but this is how I feel today. I know I'm not the only person with uh, um, problems in the world, and sometimes I may forget that I am. Um, I'm just really annoyed and upset at the situation, most people be. I know I keep looking down and up and down. I'm just really pissed off. Sorry. It's like p people do listen. There's some people that don't. I mean, you, you try and talk to your family, how they'd speak to you, yeah? And they don't understand. You try and have a laugh with family, they don't take a laugh or a joke, they take it the wrong way. It's like. Some people say miscommunication, but it could be. But the thing is, why did they keep doing it? Attacking you and uh, mentally, upsetting you mentally. It's just like, no, no, you can't have a joke with anybody these days. They take anything the wrong way. <sighs> Don't get me wrong, um... Some of us have a short fuse. Some of us don't have patience. Um, 
just because they have their issues and their problems, they want to take it out on you. Some family members do that to people. They target people. Some family members, if they've got a nephew or uncle, the uncle likes to bully around the nephew. So, is that right? It's not, is it? Just because he's got his problems. I'm sure you guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, go for the same thing. You've probably been beaten and hit by your own family. It's not nice. I'm just really ticked off today. I'm, I'm very sorry. Perhaps I'm not thinking straight. This is what sometimes family can do to you. You have family that pretend to care about you. And they ask you certain questions. Like, oh, do you like me? Do you not like me? Oh, do you like me? All the things are done for you, that the family members always say to you. And then they turn aggressive on you and get angry with you. Silly, isn't it? That's why we're thinking too much, I don't know. It makes you think and wonder. Why do they keep acting like that? Some of you guys and girls and ladies and gentlemen will probably never get the answers of what you're looking for, or what they do, or they never tell you. There's a lot of things that family members and people that you know hide, probably. But not, not everybody sort of mentions things. You know, a lot loud sports car. I mean, Sheffield, obviously, obviously. I don't know. I really don't know. I'm just angry and upset. Some people would say, "Well done," to people out there that don't retaliate to people that hit them. It's best to walk away and be a man. I know I'm a man. It takes more than a man to stand up to somebody. Once a man, what is that saying? Once a man, never a boy. Being a man, no, no, been a boy, now a man. And then grow up, and then grow up. Sorry if I'm talking negative and people don't like it. So I know people want to see happy people that are happier and uh, excited and stuff. I can understand that. But uh, I was happier. <sighs> Look at it now. They try and make you crazy, even though you're not. They try and make you ill. They try and make you poorly when you're not poorly. They make you feel bad. And this is what some people do in the world. They feed you with pills, they give you beer, they give you drugs. Because they don't want to handle you. They say they're helping you, it's good for you. Is it really good? As long as it's not going their way, they don't care. But there's there's people that do care in the world. And I'm just annoyed and angry today. This this was this was these things in my mind. These silly things in my mind. It's always one thing after another.
things will never change we'll be the same about it what i mean what do you do if you're getting attacked by your own family do you call the police do you stay in your house and have it do you let people keep doing it or do you defend yourself And then when they've had a fallout of you, they like you again. It's like they want to keep going for you, trying to attack you. And then they say to you, oh, stop acting like the harbour. More like, stop trying to push people and antagonise people. Then they won't get annoyed. That's what they do. They turn it, the obviously, way around and then they start doing the blame game. And saying, who's been there for you? Who's done this? Who's done that for you? Who took you to these places? I don't know if you guys go as lazy, you'll get the same thing. I'm not trying to make you, you feel bad. Which is not, not right. So. It's not right at all. Some people just give up and move on. Others would take it. And fortunately, some people would take their own lives over family and friends. And that's very sad and horrible and sickening as well. I want people to be strong in this world and happy. I don't want them to take their own life because of the depressed or down or low. I want them to think positive. Listen, there's a whole world world out there. Sometimes we can't see the whole wide world out there, but we know it's there. Most of us do uh, know it's there. I'm just angry and annoyed. That's why I keep looking up and down. I never, I've never usually this, usually this annoyed and uh, mad and angry, pissed off, and you know it's understandable. And the light is still shining in my face. It's making me a bit tired. So that's why I'm trying not to look at the light on the phone. I know this is a long video, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. I apologize. I apologize if it's too long, the video. But I have to say what I've got to say. Um, there's no hope for anyone. Perhaps some people get angry and annoyed when they can't see their own family, when they're helping other people and they don't have enough time for themselves. Just want to take out on other people. Well, that is the case for some people in the world. Why don't they get a better job? They can spend more time with people, or they don't, there's no other jobs available. That's why they got to do that job. When people get hurt and hurt all the time by family, they don't want to speak to them or know them. So, as they, as they want to do is basically want you to not um, succeed. I mean, there's family that do care about people. I, I agree with that. But uh, to go around saying that some people, families do, like uh, they'd be better off without them if you're not here. Stuff like that. Sometimes their wish comes true. Then some people say, fine. Fine by me. Live my life the way I want to live it. That's what some people would say. Or other people would say other things. I don't know, like it is what it is. Can't be any better, only worse. <sighs> but I don't know.
really fed up. Angry and annoyed. What can you do? What can you say? <laughs> but hard not to say a lot of things, isn't it? In this moment of time. It's really bad with everything. Sometimes when you get angry and annoyed, it's hard to calm down. And there's a lot, a lot of people that understand what you're talking about. There's some people that do, and they say, just get on with a positive day that you've got to try and understand. <clears throat> Hold on a minute. Just thinking things. It's in a really annoyed mood today. Especially when your, your sink's blocked in the bathroom and the bath, and you can't even get in the bath. That's annoyed me as well. It's obviously a blockage. Everybody else on the, has not got that. It's the star block in our building that's got the blockage in the sink or the bathroom. Everybody else. Further next door, I don't. I don't know. Sometimes when you don't say things to people, or don't have to, some people say, oh, they're scared, they don't want to say this, don't say that. it's not necessary. Some, sometimes people don't want to say the horrible things to people, and then they change it around. Just because they're having a bad time in their brain, and then they want to inflict pain under somebody else and upset them, make them ill. Perhaps some people are just stuck in two different worlds, and I, just, I don't know. They want to try and inflict pain on everybody else. Or it may just seem like they're doing it. I, I don't know. But anyway, guys and girls, uh, I can keep talking for a, a bit longer. Um, if you want, keep speaking and eventually put this into YouTube. It may help out a lot of other people. I'm just really angry and annoyed. I'd, you know. You know who can you trust? Can you trust sometimes your friends and family? When they're trying to be horrible to you. For no reason at all. I know I've been talking a lot about this. and I'm sorry guys and girls if I'm boring you. Ladies and gentlemen. But I'm just expressing my feelings like anyone. Some people don't understand it. But that's just been a long day for a lot of people. And a long day for a lot of people. And they take it the wrong way. You know, some people... It just goes around the circle, doesn't it, for a lot of people. Some people don't probably get abused or hit or beaten. Never have it in their life. Other people do, like thousands. You know, people don't deserve to get hurted and punched. You know, uh, but not everybody sees it the same way. Some people see it the way that uh, people take the mickey and the piss, which, you know, it's just the way it could be. But anyway, guys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, I better go. I hope you all enjoyed the video. I'm sorry if I'm sending a bit down today, but uh, thank you for joining me. I'll see you in the next one, okay? Peace, and keep safe, and take it easy. And don't let people hold you down. This one, peace. So thank you for joining me. I hope you all be good. Well, and everything. I'm just thinking, should I end the video? And this probably should be best if I did, because I've been on it for this time for like 24 minutes or 25 minutes. 
Siempre cae. Te hizo.